What's up my producer friends, I'm David with another monsterproductions.com. In this video, I wanna show you how to actually create your own custom single cycle wave shapes and actually turn them into wave files so that you can potentially use them with synths like Harmer, for example. You can just drag them directly from a folder onto the synth and get to making sounds a lot quicker. Harmer is a native FL Studio synth that comes with the all plugins bundle. But aside from that, within this tutorial, we'll be using all free and native FL Studio plugins. We are gonna be using Edison, which comes with the producer edition of FL Studio, so you will need at least the producer edition of FL Studio to fully follow along with everything in the tutorial. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. All right, so there are actually several different ways to do this. The first way that I want to show you is with Vital. So Vital is a free synth that you can get by going to vital.audio. And then they have paid versions as well, which you can check out. They come with more options, more wavetables, more presets, and some other options as well. But all you really need is the free version. That's what I currently have right now. And so what I wanna do first with the synth is go ahead and initialize a preset. So we can do that by right-clicking here and then go down to where it says initialize preset, click that, and then we'll have a blank default slate. Now, what's cool about this plugin is it gives you a really easy uh, and, and cool way to create your own custom wave shapes out of this plugin. So the way that you do that is go down here on the oscillator section, there's this little tool. We can click this and then we'll be in the editor mode where we can create literally any wave shape we want. So we could create, you know, something like this, add a little thing here, add this. We can get as creative as we want with this. And the other thing that we can do here as well is we can actually change the harmonics here to create our own shapes this way as well. So you can get as creative as you want with this process and obviously create all sorts of different wave shapes with this uh, really cool tool and really easy to use. Now. You can also do this in Harmer. So if you do have the all plugins bundle of FL Studio, you can go in here and you can actually, so let's do a default preset. I've actually got one, but you can go into presets, go to default, and then you can click on the wave table or wave shape rather, and it'll take you to the harmonic level. And we can actually use this tab to create our own custom wave shapes this way as well. Now, this way, in my opinion, is a little bit more complex and it doesn't, it just, it's it's more clunky. It's not as easy to create as Vital. I think Vital is just an easier, more user-friendly plugin. But the way that this works is it, essentially if you have, uh, here I can just click. So if you have one, when I zoom in here, this is a sine wave. So the more harmonics I add in here, the more harmonics we kind of create. So I can kind of create a custom wave shape this way as well. And then we can also use the harmonic phase to get a little bit more creative with the wave shape as well. So you can kind of see how it changes when I change the phase a little bit there. So that changes the tone of it. But like I said, this way is a little bit more confusing. It's a little bit clunkier. I definitely recommend using Vital instead. Now, another thing that we can do here is we can actually take a wavetable and turn it into a single cycle wave shape. So the way that we do this is we just go into a random wavetable here. Um, for example, we could do quad saw. And what this one does is as you move it, it kind of creates, you know, a saw, a quad saw effect. So. So the way that I actually turn this into an audio file is with Edison. And so I can go in here, I actually have an Edison already loaded up, um, but here we'll go into a new track and I'll show you, you basically just go to an open slot, go down to where it says Edison, can load up Edison, and then we need to root our vital into this Edison. So this is an insert three, so you can go ahead and put it there. So now our vital is running into this particular Edison and I can just hit record and I can go back to Vital and just play a note, okay? And sometimes this actually works better if I go down an octave and then I need to stop the recording. And the reason why I say it works better if you play it lower is because when you're playing it down lower, the cycles are actually resonating at a slower rate, which means that it's a little bit easier to kind of zoom in and see what's going on. So I can kind of go in here and highlight a section 
And then we just need to zoom into that section and find one single cycle of this. So in this case, let's kind of zoom in here. So what I like to do here is kind of bring this beside it so I can see what the cycle looks like here. As you can see, it sort of starts off and goes up higher. So it starts here and ends roughly here. And I can zoom in even more just so we can really see what's going on. Okay, so I want this to really start right there and end right about there. And the more exact you get this, the more accurate it's gonna be in terms of making sure that it's the exact sound. Um, for the sake of this tutorial, that's close enough. We'll go ahead and right click on this and then we can go down to edit and go to trim. And that's gonna get rid of all the excess and so now we just have this single cycle. And actually, now that I'm looking at this, it does go a little bit past. So I can delete that little section too. And then we can right click here and we can go ahead and go file, save sample as, and we can save this as like quad saw or something. And I've already done this, so we'll do quad saw to save. So now we can go back in here, we can go to file load sample, and we can go into our wave shapes and we can find our quad saw too and just bring it over into our wave shape folder. So this is a wave shape folder that I've made over here. And now I can go back into my Harmer. All right, so let's go ahead and drag our quad saw two into Harmer. And let's listen to what this sounds like. I'll bring this back up in octave or back to where it is originally. Turn the volume down on this a little bit just so we can kind of hear that a little bit better. So now you have basically the exact same sound. Uh, we have the exact same wave shape and we have it saved into our folder. Now keep in mind, you can use any synth, any wavetable that you want to create your own single cycle wave shapes. So for example, if you do have Serum, you know, you can load up Serum. And personally, I have a ton of different wave shapes and wavetables in here. Uh, so if you have a specific wave shape that you really like the sound of, you know, you can go in here and you can scroll through the wavetable and you know, find exactly what you like. And then you can use that particular cycle, repeat the process, save it and create your own custom wave, uh, wave shapes that way as well. Now, if for some reason you don't want to go through this whole process and you just want to get my custom wave shapes that I've made, uh, I have 50 of them in this folder and you can just download those for free. There'll be a link in the description of this video. So check that out. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Also, if you're new to production and you're struggling with anything production related, I do offer one-on-one -on -one private lessons, which you can sign up for on my website. Again, I'll leave a link in the description of the video if you guys are interested in that. And I'll see you guys in the next video.